Peter gave Wendy a hand at first, but had to desist. Tink was so indignant. Up and down they went, and round and round. Heavenly was Wendy's word for it. Today I'll show you how to make fairy wings for dolls, or you could easily make these wings into jewelry. You can use real dragonfly or cicada wings if you're lucky enough to find a dead one on a nature walk, or if you don't have the real thing, a transparency printout will work just as well. This is certainly Caroline with more Palmer Clay fairy tale nonsense. Create your own miniature fairy tale world with my weekly miniature art tutorials. As always, a link to the supplies I used for this tutorial will be in the description below. Carefully remove the wings with needle nose pliers or carefully cut out your transparency wings if you don't have real ones. Insects often have two pairs of wings, the fore wings and the hind wings. You'll want to work on each wing part separately. Shape a thin wire to the shape of the wing, set it in place, leaving some wire at both ends, and then add a drop or two of super glue. And let that dry completely. Here's a tip, I use wax paper as my work surface. The brand of super glue I'm using doesn't dry very quickly on wax paper, so if any super glue gets on the paper underneath the wing, it doesn't stick to the paper. Once the glue is dried, you can add a very light coating of liquid polymer clay. I'm using liquid Sculpey, but liquid Fimo would also work. Add a very thin layer on both sides of the wing, making the liquid clay a little thicker over the wire. I made a little boat of tin foil to place the wing on. You'll want to bake it for about 15 minutes in a 275 to 300 degree oven. Form the end of your wire to the shape you desire. You could stop right here if you're going for a simple natural look or continue on and give your wings pixie dust magic. Thinly brush on a little liquid clay in the places you want the pixie dust to show. Be very deliberate about where you put the liquid clay at this point. You don't want glitter to cover those beautiful veins. It's very easy to overdo the glitz. Consider yourself warned. Bake it again. These guys are metal corners of glass picture frames that I bought at the dollar store. Unfold the picture frame corner and cut it with scissors kind of like this. Clamp it onto your wing and add some liquid Sculpey to secure the metal in place. And bake again. Then add more liquid polymer clay into the nooks and crannies of your metal piece. And then douse it in silver glitter, because there's no such thing as too much glitter. If you want a little color, try adding some mica powder here and there. And bake again. If you want your wings to really shine, you can add a gloss varnish. I used triple thick brush on gloss. I also added a few microbeads. I used a paintbrush with a little gloss to add them because microbeads are kind of like glitter and that you can easily overdo it. If you enjoyed this little tutorial about how to make fairy wings, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my strange little world of Palmer Clay fairy tales.